Firstly, I would like to thank you. Um, Mr. Khan, thank you so much for hosting this, for honoring me, it means a lot. There are a few other names. Um, Baroness Sayla Barsi, Dr. Sara Naeem, Mr. Abdul Haq, Mr. Shafiq Shazad, which you said resonated with me strongly. Mr. Tosif Emel and Mr. Manish Tiwari, thank you so much and to all of you for being here. You know, this morning I was thinking, God, what am I going to say? This is not, this is, this is not where I usually go. This is not where I usually speak. Um, and I thought to myself, no, let me just think about the journey that I've had. So I wrote a few things down. I mean, it's probably not as well spoken as all of you guys are, but um, I thought of every event that I have ever gone to, where I've been given an award or an honor, or an award show where I go to. And there are all these adjectives, you know, that, that I'm given. Most of which I actually sometimes get uncomfortable with, but with age I have started to bow my head down and humbly accept and be grateful for all the good things that I said about. Except for one. When they call me a self-made woman, I somehow always disagree with it. My heart disagrees with it. I was born to two parents, Kokab Khan and Hafiza Urrahman Khan, working parents. My mother was a teacher, my father a banker, and we both believed in education. They worked for all, as long as I can remember, I remember my parents working, both of them. They both believed in education and equal education. So me and my brother were given good quality education with two working parents. I remember when I grew up, and like you said, when I went to college, it was no easy time for me. I was paying my own bills, I had two jobs. But I remember the people who inspired me, you know. I remember my English teacher, who I remember said, I'll see you in, in the UN one day. Little did she know that I was, in my head I was saying, I will see you at the cinema one day. <laughs> <laughs> but she believed in me, you know. There was, there were so many people I remember. Every time I said, one day I'm going to be a movie star, there were people who used to laugh at me. But for every laugh, let me tell you, there was a friend or an aunt who was saying, you're going to do this, you will achieve this. When I came back and started working in this industry, it wasn't easy. People say that it was an anomaly. I very soon was a divorced mother of one. How can someone like that, a woman, make it be successful? There was success, alhamdulillah, but there were also some very low lows. And those are the times that you think of the people that supported you, that were there for you. I think of my first director, commercial film director, who till date is my biggest cheerleader. I think about a legendary actress or a TV channel owner who till date celebrates my successes. So when I think about myself, I think, yes, God has put me in this position, but I'm definitely not self-made. I have actually stood on the shoulders of teachers and mentors, my parents, my family, my friends, my colleagues, <laughs> the kindness of strangers, my fans, innumerable. Yesterday, I was uh, telling somebody, I was talking to somebody, and I was telling somebody, you have been chosen, so act like it. And I thought, ooh, that's correct. And that applies to me too. Mm -hmm. In fact, it applies to all of us in this room, right? Out of millions, we have been chosen. You are in the position that you are. You were chosen for it, and so were you, and so was I. And if we are chosen, 
then we must act like it. And what does that mean, I think about that? It means that we pay it forward. Whatever we've been given, we are in positions of power, actually. We are in positions to make a change. Today, I sit here because someone decided, whether it was you or me, that we should honor her and bring her here and let her speak. Tomorrow, there'll be someone else. We have to open doors. We have to make it possible for girls to actually dream and to be able to achieve those dreams, whether there is fair representation in all walks of life, whether we talk about gender equality, whether we talk about just raising awareness, basic awareness, we all actually have been chosen. And so we must act on it. Um, thank you for honoring me. Thank you for bringing me here. Really, it is an honor. I don't think I realized how big of an honor it was till I am sitting here with all of you. Thank you for working for us. Yes, I do represent my country when I'm outside. But all of you actually represent your countries. <laughs> and I'm a proud Pakistani sitting here receiving this award. And like I said, another thing I'd like to add, I think it's very, very important. Uh, I talked about my father, my mother. When I, when I think of, I don't have sisters, I think of my brother who has been an important part of my journey because he has silently supported me. He till date ferociously takes care of my name because he started a platform which is specifically for women, Masham, which we do back home in Pakistan. So I believe that there are two things. One, as women we must teach our girls and other women that when there is someone who is successful, we must applaud them. And when there is a problem or there are failures, we must not pull them down. Similarly, <coughs> with, our with our, I say children because I have a son, but with our boys, with our fathers, with our brothers and our sons, we must teach them how to be allies to women. Because together, actually, we can empower women <coughs> together. So thank you so much. Um, once again, thank you. And it's been an honor.